we've just made this collapsible Christmas tree skirt box and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're tipping our toes into Christmas. We're gonna build us one of those Christmas tree boxes. We're doing more than tipping, we are diving in. Oh, we're diving in. I mean, Wait we're first. in November. There's only a few short weeks and we only have a few weeks to make projects because we only do one a week. So oh, what do yeah. we have, like eight projects? So we better start our holiday ideas right now. And we're gonna start with a Christmas tree. We're starting at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Yes, a friend asked me if I could make this for her. It's a Christmas tree box. It replaces your Christmas tree skirt and it just looks a little... Rustic? Yeah. Country? Yes. Farmhouse. Yeah. All of those? Yeah, all of those. I think, yeah, you could do so many cute things with it. She's given me the scheme that she's, she wants, the stain, uh, the, the stencil for the side. Yeah, exactly. So. This one's going to be a pretty easy one for us and I thought it would be a great idea to share with you guys because not only are we going to make one for her, I want to make one for us too. Oh, breaking <laughs> news. Yeah, yeah, it is breaking news. And we think we can make this thing collapsible so you don't have to store this giant box. Yeah. You should be able to break it down and put it away with the rest of the Christmas stuff. Break it down. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a one by 16 by eight foot long. That was hard to find. We needed five one by twos. We need some hinges. This is, what, this is what's gonna make it stay together and be able to fold it closed. And latches, you know, we'll hold it open. We needed some nails, one and a quarter inch, and some wood glue, but we couldn't find our wood glue, so clear Gorilla Glue it is. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do, use the wood glue. <laughs> and then we're gonna stain it at the end. This is the uh, Minwax uh, stain in espresso. Kim will be staining it in the end. Yeah, and by we, I mean me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. Now, pocket saw won't make it through this one by 16. He just doesn't have big enough bite. So we're gonna have to use this circular saw to cut this down into 22 and a half inches, four of them. But we will be using a little pocket saw. <laughs> Every time. A little pocket saw to cut down our one by twos. We're gonna start with eight of those at 22 and a half inches, and then we'll figure out what our cross braces will be here in a, in a minute. It's really 16 of them, right? Four for each side. No, oh, just two. For, is, it, is it four for each side? We're framing it out. That's what I thought, yeah. Huh? Gotta frame it out. Four for Merry each Christmas. side. Yeah. 16 one by twos at 22 and a half. I have it all. I have the design of yeah. all of here. <laughs> this is our blueprint. <laughs> it's in here. I used the stop block to make sure all of my 22s and all of my 13s were exactly the same size. The angles were really tricky, so we just laid the frame on top of the 1x2, drew the angle on the 1x2, and then cut it with the pocket saw, kind of shaved it down until it kind of fit in there. And that's how we did it. Step three, give it a light sand. Step three, give it a light sand. Kim's just gonna knock off the edges, kind of clean it up just a little bit. Step four, and now we're gonna stain. Well, I might stain. Kim's gonna stain. So we're gonna stain all of the pieces before we assemble it, that way we don't have to try to get in all the little nooks and crannies and have white spots showing through. And... Well, I'm a little worried about the glue because we don't have our wood glue. If that Gorilla Glue, glue seeps out, you will it won't stain, and I don't want to leave those bare spots. Love it. 
about to live up, live up to. Clink! Step five. Now we're gonna cut our design. We're just gonna hop into design space. Kim's gonna type out a little phrase that's going on two sides of it, and then we're gonna cut it on the Cricut. Simple as that. Now we paint. Well, we're just gonna add the design to two of the boards. Kim picked out the two nicest sides. <laughs> and now we're just gonna add the stencil to the board. And I'm gonna do it now because I think it'll be a lot easier than waiting and doing it after it's put together. So. Yeah, I think it'll be easier to get the stencil in there and get it straight, and not try to deal with the sides and the top. And I don't think we're gonna mess it up while we assemble it. It should be okay. Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah. I wear kit gloves. Voila. Yeah, the thing about this smart vinyl, it's got a very stiff back because uh, you don't need the mat to use it, but it does make weeding a little more difficult. You, you just gotta to... keep it real tight. Mm hmm. Real yeah. tight. <laughs> Stick it to me. Yeah, it's, there's so much static. All right, we have to reuse transfer tape because I think the rest of it might still be in the old studio. <laughs> We're gonna throw some Mod Podge around our stencil just to seal it, give it a little barrier around the edge of the stencil so that paint doesn't leak under. Just a thin little coat, like an invisible paint. layer. Yes. An invisible barrier. I wonder if it protects your teeth from cavities too. Okay, look we'll with a little sponge in there. I wasn't paying attention to the back side. We're just going to use these little makeup sponges now and just dab it into the stencil. The Mod Podge is barely dry, still, still wet and tacky. I got a little paint outside of my stencil onto the board, so I'm just gonna try and rub it out a little bit and then add a little stain over it. Use my stain rag from earlier. There we go. It's like it never happened. <laughs> we all know it happened. <laughs> But we all know it actually happened. All right, what do you think? We ready? I think we're ready. All right, let's pull it off. We're gonna go with the grain, right? Yep. We're going with the grain. Yeah, go against or, the grain. Or you're going against the grain. You have a choice. You go against the grain. There you do. Uh -huh. We're going against the grain. You got any bleed? No, no, mine's perfect. Looks pretty good. Mine's pretty perfect itself. <laughs> that Mod Podge. Yeah, I love that Mod Podge trick. Mm. All right, this will definitely have to be sealed with um, polyacrylic, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and assemble, right? Yeah. 
Step seven. We're gonna bring it all together with a little bit of glue and some nails. Inch and a quarter nails, actually. We're just gonna throw a little bit of glue around the frame. Stick it on, not too much, you don't need a lot of this stuff. We couldn't find our wood glue. Yeah. A little bit of this, and then hit it with a one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. Not for you, it doesn't. We're gonna nail through the front. No. Hmm. I'm saying we let the glue dry then. Yeah, I guess we gotta let it dry a minute. And then I'll flip it over and hit it from the back. So we're taking the two 13 inch pieces again and the two 22 and a half inch pieces and making a box on the other sides. Oh, here's your 22s. Oh, my 22s. Sitting on 22s. I was gonna say, isn't that like uh, rims or something? Yeah. <laughs> gonna need some 22s for my ride. Sweet ride. Sweet ride. Looks like we're nailing from the front. No. Let's give it some time. I think they look good. I don't wanna ruin the front. I hate to get to this point and get frustrated and just ruin it all. Let's, we'll be patient. Let's meditate while it drives. Okay, let's meditate. <laughs> You're not meditating. All right, they're barely wiggly. <laughs> it's been about 20 minutes. Just a little wiggle to them. We're gonna flip them and hit them on the back side with one and a quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. Put your fingers up. We now have two sides. I have one of the X's. Kim has one of the upside down Merry Christmases. <laughs> we're That's gonna use. I'm about to lay it down. <laughs> we're gonna use this hinge to attach these two. We're gonna do the same thing with the other two. We're gonna do one Merry Christmas and one X. One X. One X. And we're just using the hardware that these hinges came with. And what size hinges are we using here? I have no idea. One and a half inch hinge. <laughs> now we're gonna attach the latch. We're attaching the latching to the opposite side of the hinge. Yeah, that works.
came out pretty nice, huh? I love it. It's beautiful. I mean, if it makes this Big Lots tree pop, it <laughs> should make a better tree. Shazam! <laughs> Wasn't too bad. It was pretty easy. I think we could have gone with a better latch to kind of hold it square, but it works. I would say it's an intermediate level project because of the angles on the X. Other um, than that, it was super easy. The angles took us a while, and if you don't follow these exact dimensions, I can't really give you the angles. I was kind of guessing and trimming. So that was, it's pretty nice though. I don't know if I would make a whole bunch of them to sell. Like, no, I don't think it's gonna be a farmer's market project, yeah. but it's a great DIY for yourself. Uh, all right, we are about out of time, so if you're not joining us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I guess I can't take it apart to balance it. Nope. Nothing! Slid. That's it. Last minute balance. I'm balancing on out. Mm-hmm.